What is this place? It's crazy. Kasuka, piece of trivia for you. In Korean, Komi Jewel translates to spider web. Oh, I guess that makes sense. But what's the point of so many power lines? If you want to know, come and see the top floor. Yo. What's up? Yeah. Get cocky. Have fun with this. 
Should I open it? Sweet! Should I open it? Got it!
All right. How's that for crossing over? I'm just happy to be alive. I seriously thought I was dead. You guys didn't look up my skirt, did you? Yeah. Okay. There. Found it. There. Found it. There it is. Where the hell is it? There! Found it! There it is.
Should I open it? Sweet! Should I open it? Got it! the chef. Not bad. Pretty good. So good. Should I open it? Sweet.
What? What is it? Oh, nothing. A bug flew into my ear. Kind of stupid thing. Go scare someone else. <sighs> Took the words right out of my mouth. Should I open it? Got it! Okay. Very good. Well done, everyone. Hey. Allow me to apologize. We're not usually so uncouth. The guy who freed us from Mabuchi's chains. You remember me. I'm honored. Hey, why bother saving us then just to attack us now? <laughs> I do apologize. The situation's a little complex. What's this guy's deal? I don't like him. Weren't you the one saying he was hot? Just because he's hot doesn't mean I like him. I'm serving in a strategic role for the Komijul. My name is Jungi Han. Jungi Han? You want to tell us why your men attacked us? I simply wanted to see how strong you are. Actually, I ordered them not to kill you no matter what happened in the fight. <laughs> and yet, I must admit you still had me worried for a second there. No way, man. We didn't even break a sweat. Look, my hair's still perfect. Does that make me strong enough for you? Yeah, for my men, yes. But for me... <laughs> why, I believe I could take all of you by myself. Say what? I happen to know why you're here, Kasuga. You're in quite the predicament. But there are things you don't yet grasp. If you like, I could explain things in greater detail. How about you spare us greater details and give us the short version? Very well. I'll focus on the part that's crucial for you to understand. Just give me a minute to figure out how to put it, so even an idiot can comprehend. If you think calling me names is gonna get a rise out of me, think again. I like my life as an idiot. <laughs> I'm not trying to get a rise out of you. I like idiots myself. Now, this way, please. Is he gonna take us seriously at some point? <laughs> Just let it go. He really pisses me off for a hot guy. It's always the sexy ones who piss you off the most. Yep, that's why I prefer to associate with you guys. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I think you might be the very first non komijul who ever passed through here. You should be grateful, or at least pretend to be.
What in the world? This is the heart of our business interests in Ijincho. Security cameras all over town. Footage shot by undercover Komijul agents. Here, we see everything the cameras see. We have our own generators too. But they're not enough to power such an advanced system. So, that's why... You have to jack innocent people's electricity? <sighs> that's one way of putting it. But you must consider that we are recent arrivals in Ijincho. When we came, the Seriyu and Liu Mang were already at war over territory. The area we now call Komijul was the only scrap left to us. Still, we've managed to use it to produce a very in-demand commodity. Information, which it turns out is also an excellent weapon. Too good for regular weapons, huh? We are quite small compared to the Seiryu clan and the Liu Mang. We'd be the first to go down if it came to a real war. So, to survive, we have come to act as the balance between the other two. It's a strategy that has served us well, so far. You balance them? How? To give you an example, if a man from the Liumong entered Seiryu clan territory, we'd know it immediately and report it to our Seiryu contacts. And it wouldn't end there. We'd investigate the trespasser and use his friends or family as further leverage. So you see, we extinguish the sparks of war before they become fires. Though we do prefer that sparks don't fly in the first place. So really, this standoff in Yokohama isn't among three equal organizations. It's two big powerful ones little one mediating between them. Exactly right. The Liu Mang and the Seiryu clan should be thanking us. <laughs> but they've never sent so much as a thank you note. What if someone does start a fire on purpose? Would the Komi Jewel do anything about it? It's case by case, but many times that task would fall to us, yes. Sometimes all we have to do is apply a little pressure. But sometimes it calls for a heavier hand. It's all just business, of course. So what about Mabuchi? You managed to put out that spark yet? <laughs> He's still alive, if that's what you're asking. But take a look at the large monitor, if you would. Huh? This was recorded just moments before the death of Otohime Land's owner. You'll see both Lao Ma and his men. Well, hey, this looks like rock solid proof to me. Hell yeah! This is exactly what we were looking for! I knew it would be. Anyone who watches this, even Zhao, will have to accept that Mabuchi is at fault. Nice! But I can't hand this over to you just yet. There's something else I want you to see. What's that? You'll see what I mean. Uh, yeah. yeah. This doesn't sound shady at all. Yo, can you lighten up, man? It's starting to rub off on me. Have a closer look. It's not going to bite. Yen. 
counterfeit bills. More fake bills? Wait. Now, these are different from Mabuchi's. Yeah, what's up with that? Oh, these fakes are on a whole other level, I assure you. They make Mabuji's bills look like board game money. Put them side by side, and you'd see how sloppy his work is. These are made with a state-of-the-art printer. It can copy a bill down to each microline. <laughs> I was wondering if you'd turn up again. Happy to see me? I'm happy any time a good-looking woman turns up. It would have been sooner, but I had preparations to make. Yeah, I bet your maker routine's no joke. <laughs> You're funny. I like you. Ugh, can you two stop flirting? <sighs> How about you tell us who you are already? I don't think the lady appreciates your tone. It's fine. Why don't you introduce me to them? <sighs> of course. Where does your ego end? Everyone, allow me to present the leader of the Komijul. Song Hui. Wait, you mean she's their leader? Komi Jewel's boss is a woman? You remember all that paper in Mabuchi's warehouse? The plain white paper inside the shipping boxes? Uh, you mean the stuff for steaming food? Yeah, I remember that. It's not for food. It's made with a very special compound. The Liomong import it from the mainland. They're a Chinese import company. Makes sense. The Japanese yen we make here uses the same paper. What? W wait. Do you steal the paper from the Liomong warehouse and make yen with it? Steal us? We don't need to stoop to that. We arranged for it to be brought here. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? The Komi Jewel asked the Yokohama Liomang to procure the paper we needed. It's only stored temporarily in Mabuchi's warehouse. Then someone from the Liomang delivers it to us. Who brings it? And who did you arrange all this with? Oh, it all goes through their boss, Zhao. Zhao knows you use the paper? Of course. How would we keep it a secret from him? So, the paper in the warehouse gets made into fake yen, not yuan? But then, where does the yuan come from? That another part of your business? Or is that the Liumong's piece of the action? Nope. It's neither. What? You know, this whole thing was kind of a fluke. One day, one of Mabuchi's men stumbled across a box of strange paper in the warehouse. It just so happened, this particular guy was a former counterfeiter. A light bulb went off in his head, and he told Mabuchi they could use the paper to make fake yuan. Mabuchi gave it a try, and voila, huge profits. So it wasn't even Mabuchi's idea in the first place. <laughs> Far be it from me to criticize others in the trade. But Mabuchi's not as smart as he thinks he is. He just got lucky one of his peons had a good idea. Does Zhao know that Mabuchi is making Yuan? Have you told him? I did. But Zhao already knew. He's just pretending that he doesn't. After all, it's not like he can order his men to stop printing Yuan. They'd ask where the paper was going. Not even Zhao could talk his way out of that. And he's not about to do anything that might risk his very profitable fake Yen operation. So he's willing to look the other way when it comes to Mabuchi's fake Yuan. It's logical. I'd do the same. But does Mabuchi know the same paper is being used to make yen? No, what he takes to make you on is breakage. But I'm okay with breakage if it keeps Mabuchi in the dark. The only thing I care about is the paper continues to be customized for yen. Customized? Yes, legal currency always has a specific recipe. For yen, the main ingredient is a plant called Mitsumata. But the other ingredients, the mixture ratio, the manufacturing method, those are all state secrets. Which makes it almost impossible to copy. Then how the hell are you pulling it off? 
We have a contact at the Treasury who passed these secrets to us decades ago. That long ago? Why haven't the police caught wind of this operation? <laughs> if you're surprised by police incompetence, you're younger than I thought. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, trust me, I'm uh, older than I look. You know she's literally doing that on purpose, don't you? <laughs> the point is, almost nobody knows about these fake bills. So you better start explaining why you have one. Uh... Ichiban! Whoa! This bill is a misprint from our machine. It should have been destroyed. Tell me where you got this. Our surveillance network has been watching you ever since you arrived in the city. That's how we knew you had a fake bill. It's time for you to tell us the whole story behind it. In detail. That's why we brought you here. Look, I know what you're thinking, but you're wrong. I don't know shit about that bill. You don't know anything? Not a damn thing. You know I won't hesitate to pull the trigger. I know it. You're a lady who does what needs to be done. I'm glad you recognize that. We've already reviewed every single frame of footage where you make an appearance. It does support your claim that you're clueless about the fake bill. It also showed you were bleeding out from a gunshot wound when you arrived. Is there anything you don't know? Yes, like why you're still here in Ijincho. You don't seem to have an actual goal or much of a purpose. Which I suppose makes sense, given the way you look and behave. Ah, uh, kinda harsh there, don't you think? But the same can't be said about one of you. Isn't that right, Nanba? Hey, well, what's this about? You showed up in Ijincho six months ago. The whole time, you were watching our building from the homeless camp. We saw you. How long did it take you to notice? Not long. But what caught our attention is you never showed interest in your campmates. Until the fake Bill. He only talked to me because the Chief asked him to heal me up, and- But why did he come with you on this journey? Is it the classic nurse in love with a patient story? No. He doesn't have Florence Nightingale syndrome. He's after something. Duh. Ugh. You knew the fake bill came from Namba! us! Namba! Don't move. She's not finished. <sighs> Namba... Just... You need to start talking. Who are you? You, Namba. Former nurse. 41 years old. That's not what I'm asking. I'm Shoichi Akiba's older brother. All right? What? Shoichi Akiba? The journalist? Akiba was a pen name. His real name was Shoichi Namba. Hmm. It's all starting to make sense now. What is? What are you all talking about? About six months ago, a journalist heard rumors about our counterfeiting operation. That was Shoichi Akiba. He came here to Ijincho to investigate, but... After just a few days, he disappeared. He disappeared? Don't play dumb! Hmm. <laughs> just before he went MIA, I got a message from him. He told me he was being watched. By the Komi Jewel. Now you tell me. Where is my brother? I get it now. 
You think you're on some kind of rescue mission, huh? I heard about Ijincho's great wall of muscle. How it protected the town from out. 